Hey gang, Scott Davenport here. On this video, I'm talking about metadata conflicts in Lightroom. When Lightroom throws up one of these badges on our photos that says the metadata has changed or there's a metadata conflict, you know, what does this mean? What can you do about it? And uh, this came from uh, from Brian, one of the folks who was on my workshop in Big Sur, and he got this on one of his photos. It's like, all right, uh, what does this mean? You know, Lightroom's telling me something's wrong, but really not helping me understand what's really going on. So first, let's take a look at what this, this looks like. When you're in the grid view, there are a couple of different badges that can show up. And you've got one with like these three lines and a little arrow. If I hover over that, it says metadata was changed externally. And this one with a exclamation point, it's even like more dire. Oh, metadata has a conflict. All right, well, what's going on here? Well, let's take a step back. What's metadata? We're talking about the data about your photo. And some of that is burned in by your camera, EXIF data, you know, the aperture you used when you took the photo, the shutter speed, the type of lens, the type of camera. And then there's other things that we add ourselves, our copyright information, keywords, star ratings, uh, color labels, whatever it might be. And all that stuff shows up over in our library pane where we have, you know, things like your keywords assigned to various photos. Uh, if you've done anything with the IPTC settings to add in your information about the photo. And if you make a change to this information outside of Lightroom, this is where these badges start to show up. So to fully understand what's happening here, we have our photo and the photo itself has some information in it and you can embed metadata in it, including keywords, including copyright information. Lightroom has its own catalog and that catalog is only used by Lightroom. Lightroom's the only thing that reads it but Lightroom also understands how to read a photo. A third thing we have is the XMP sidecar file where you may turn that on in Lightroom to save metadata information and editing instructions to a small file that lives on your computer next to your source photo. Now, how do we get in the situation where we have conflicts? Uh, I get these from time to time using plugins. For whatever reason, the round trip process does something that changes the nature of the metadata in the source file. And usually that's um, when it creates a TIFF or a PSD. The round trip typically creates the PSD or TIFF first, sends it over to some plugin program, the plugin you do your thing in it, and then it comes back into Lightroom. There may be a difference from the time you created the, the TIFF or PSD to the time that the edited one came back. And that's just a nature and quirk of some of the plugins that, uh, that I tend to use. Uh, if you are exploring outside of Lightroom through your photo library, browsing it with another program like uh, Luminar for libraries or on one photo raw, you might make a change. Uh, and if these programs understand the XMP sidecar file as well, maybe something changes there. However you arrive at this situation, some type of change has happened outside of Lightroom that Lightroom either doesn't know about or has a question about. And that's where these badges show up. So let's talk about the two different ones. We've got metadata has changed externally and we have metadata has a conflict. Now, um, if I click on either one of these types of badges, I'll click on one of them. I get this pop up and says, well, what do you want to do? And what you want to do depends on you know, what you know about this photo and what you've changed and what your general workflow is. Well, the first thing you can do is do nothing. You can ignore this. If you don't care about metadata, you're not doing anything major with uh, keywords or anything like that. Just don't care about it. Ignore it, click cancel, it all goes away. The other two choices are I can either import settings from disk or overwrite settings. And what this means is how do you view the information that is in your Lightroom catalog. In my world, my Lightroom catalog is the gold master, right? Any changes that I make to my metadata keywords, uh, you know, version names, copyright information, star ratings, all that stuff, my Lightroom catalog is the source of truth. And so for me, I will click overwrite settings and say, take what's in the catalog, right? Overwrite the disk settings with those from the catalog. Say, I want my uh, catalog to be the source of truth. I want things to be consistent. I'll click overwrite settings. 
If on the other hand, you have done something outside of Lightroom and you know it, you did it purposely and you need to slurp that in from the photo into your Lightroom catalog, you choose import settings from disk and the reverse will happen. We'll treat the particular image as the source of truth and pull the data in into your catalog. So uh, that's how you can clue this up. And I go ahead and I'll do overwrite settings on this one particular one that I just did. That will go off here, save metadata. And in a moment or two, once it's finished writing all that stuff out, it'll come back. You'll see that it disappeared from my screen. I'm actually filtering on metadata conflicts in this view, in this grid view. So you can actually find photos in your catalog that have a metadata conflict. Let me actually, let me show you how that works here too. Filtering for metadata in any one of these columns, you have metadata status and you can choose changed on disk or conflict detected. And I'm already filtered. So there'd be other things like there's no change at all. So you can quickly find any types of photos that have this conflict if you want to go clean them up. I have a smart a collection that will look for these. And from time to time, I'll go in there and take care of cleaning things up by telling Lightroom, just overwrite everything, use the catalog as the source of truth for my metadata and make sure things are consistent. But it only matters if you care about the metadata. If you don't, just either ignore the badge. If the badge really bothers you, then you know choose either to import it from the disk or to write out what's in your catalog. So that's the story around these metadata conflicts. And if you got questions about it, you know feel free to share things in the comments. If you've got a, a different approach or a situation that uh, I'm not describing here that's come up because you know I'm one photographer of you know hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands, everybody's gotten a different experience, and sometimes. It doesn't happen for me and my tools, but it might have happened for you. So share that stuff in the comments. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport and happy shooting.